Well, welcome to Atomic Motors and welcome to Cars, Shops, and Collections. I think there's five warehouses here that we're gonna see today. Over 250 classic cars and motorcycles. Bill, the owner, he's already mic'd up inside waiting for us. Let's go see Bill. Also, thank you for watching. If you like the show, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And our shirts, by the way, they are for sale. You can find them at Threads of Envy. So you can get the official Car Shops and Collection merch. It's now available. Let's go inside and see Bill. Bill, my man. <laughs> Welcome, JC. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. Welcome back. Hi, I'm Bill Byler. I'm the president of Atomic Motors, and I want to welcome you to the wonderful world of Atomic Motors. Okay, how long have you been here? Uh, seven years. And then you own all these cars, these cars are consignment. What's the history of some of the vehicles here? Some of the cars are consigned. Uh, as time goes on, we do fewer and fewer consignments. We really have to like the person. Okay. Uh, if we like the person and we like the car and we think it's viable and they're not just crazy on the price, then mm -hmm. I can consign it. But if they've watched the Barrett-Jackson auctions and they think a $20,000 car is now worth 110, mm -hmm. I can't help them. There's other places like that. That's called a storage lot. <laughs> But you, you, you know vehicles, because you've been around cars your entire life. Thousands I mean, I, and thousands of car sales later. Tell me about the Pontiac. Beautiful, it's a resto mod, it's got an LS3 driveline, and it, uh, believe it or not, we're doing a show for the next seven years, and the men that did all the camera work for the TV shows here in town you're familiar with, one of the directors, this is his car, he got lucky. Uh, two years ago, he had put $1,000 down on two different Corvettes at two different dealerships, they both came in the same time. Now he has nowhere to park this car. So it's here. It's here. I love and the color it, of this. It's extremely inexpensive and cost effective to buy one done. I tell everyone, do not restore cars. Buy them done. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can't talk them out of it because why? It's sentimental. It's a sentimental thing. I can't make them not do it. And there's um, hundreds of cars and boats. We do all kinds of things. I mean, it could be a... Um, well, right here, the Chevelle right here, 69 Chevelle. Right. Did you guys do the, the work on this? We the interior, the color of this interior is gorgeous. That's original, 30,000 miles Whoa. from new. Yeah. This is an unrestored car. This is not restored. I love and it. Can we do more work to it if a person wants to? Yes, but it's a, it passed brake and safety, which means every car that comes here, we do a compression test and we go out from there. Mm -hmm. The wheels come off, we check the brakes, we check the bearings, we check the exhaust, we check the steering, we check everything. And there's a, a list of things we have to go through to prove. And boats, if you're ever into boats, we do, we restore classic boats for people. You got boats, you got cars, you got planes hanging from the roof, you got trains when we walked in here. There's over 600 airplanes you'll go through the building, you'll see them from every direction, whether it's a full size or these big remote control ones. The kids just love to see this stuff. This is in the movie with Brad yeah. Pitt, uh -huh. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. How do you get your hands on something like this? Uh, it just showed up. Everything just shows up, I don't know why. Like this Cadillac, in 1958, decided to make a, a one-off show car. So we have a fellow that is a local movie star. I can't mm -hmm. tell you who he is. He's going to end up with this car. Okay, so there's a local movie star Who's that wants end, to buy this car. He, he will end up with that car. That's and you, you, don't, you don't mention your clients' names. You're very uh, proud when it comes to no, your clients. Ever. But right now, there's a Hollywood star, A-lister, looking at this car right now. And you know what? I'm going to make it uh, very easy for him to own it, which is good for him uh -huh. and, and myself. <laughs> I can't get over the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the car, you know, Brad Pitt, Quentin Tarantino, such an iconic movie, Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know if the movie won an Oscar, but that's the case. The car should win an Oscar, too. It should. We've got to go through and get it going. We have a really great team here. Mm -hmm. They're headed up uh, by a gentleman named Tread, like a tire tread. Perfect. Yep. Now, these now cars what's are, back here? Is this one of your, well, your shops that's an e back here? Jet. Well, you're going to find out. This is just a normal maintenance shop. So this car is going to get brand new head gaskets. This gets a rear end rebuilt on it. That Jag gets the carbs rebuilt because why? 68 Jag, you let it six, six months. Did not start the car. It will not start until we rebuild the carbs. The modern gas tears things up. Okay. And here, this is the Hudson Hornet. Whoa. You remember Doc Hudson? Yeah. This is a Hudson Hornet Coupe, 1953. So what we did here is we built a sub chassis, all two chassis underneath instead of just a step down supercharged straight six with a six-speed tiptronic behind the steering wheel all right and who do we have walking around with us here uh this is my lovely bride this is cat hi, hi. right nice to meet you guys. perfect thanks for having us do yeah, you have a welcome. favorite as we're walking through does yes. someone jump out to you yes they will i'll show it to you now this is where they build all the engines so most of the shops here in town if uh they change engines or any of that kind of stuff they bring the engines here mm -hmm. we rebuild all the engines for most of the shops we build one-off trucks, I'll show you in a second. So we do all the engines, the honing, the building, the, the cylinder heads, the race engines, the standard engines. Um, there's a, a crankshaft, crankshaft grinding, crankshaft 
uh, welding. We do things that other shops just no longer do because they don't have the talent. This looks like someone's F-350, their daily, maybe driver. You guys work on all kinds of vehicles here. Well, what it is, if you look under it, it's all the way down. This truck will go four and a half feet high just with a push of a button. Whoa, okay. Yeah, it was built for a, um, a doctor out of Flagstaff. Uh -huh. and it has to be ready in two weeks. And this is going to be on one of the local TV shows and, and on your show first. You That's to, right, it's the exclusive. Yeah, it's exclusive. You spoofed it, so now, this is good. What's the, what's the fastest turnaround you guys do something on a vehicle? Something like this right here on this truck. How fast are you turning this around? Well, it depends on if there's change orders or not. A change order is, uh, Bill, all I want is a paint job. Well, while we're at it, let's do the engine. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, if we do the engine, we should actually do the transmission. That's how it starts. It's a That's little thing. That's how it starts. This guy came in to get his tires changed, and look at it. This car won uh, three or four national shows. Then the, I resold it, and then this particular person, let me get rid of this rag here for you. This particular person, what he wanted to do was he wanted to have, and we're almost done with this build, he wanted to have an LS7 with a supercharger made for it. And this was your car originally, and you sold it? That's correct, and the gentleman that has it now, um, is a wonderful man. He's in the exercise equipment company business and Tread uh, is with him every day on the phone talking to him and getting ready to probably send it off to SEMA or something like that. That's what it would be. Is that right, Tread? Yes. So see this one might Tread. be at SEMA this year? Uh, hopefully, yes. Yeah, see there? All right, let's go to the next room and then okay. we're going to see many, if I can find many, my favorite. How many shops, how many garages do we have here? Well, there's five acres. All right. Uh, and it encompasses over 380 cars. So this one building alone has oh, 17. Oh, look at this Jeep. It's got a brand new engine in it. Only a better running engine than it had when it was new. 79, oh my gosh. The other shops can't take them out and rebuild them in shop, mm -hmm. right? So they Everything can rebuild done here. Everything's, Everything's done here. Everything's done here. Paint, well, everything. engine, everything. Body work is all done that's here. That's right, there's not one part that's not done here. I love this, I love the CJ, this is gorgeous. Well, we've got a beautiful orange one that's a four-door version that is a big deal, I'll show it to you before it's over. Uh, Mustang gets a brand new crate engine. This one is a, um, I can't tell you who obviously, but it's someone that you would know if I told you the name. This started <laughs> as an electric car, now it's an LS3 powered gas car. Up here? Karma Fisker, yeah. So, you, so a lot of people will take and put the electric cars inside of the vehicle. You guys are taking the electric out and putting something inside. It's a one year only car. It was unsuccessful because battery technology wasn't there in 2012. Mm -hmm. Now it can go at any speed you want to go. Now look at the, it's just the Mustang back here. I always... Mustang, did it get an engine swap? Who's, did you guys paint this as well? Nope, we did not. It came into us this way. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love that color. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, beautiful oh. color. What do you see the Mustang you'll see in the next two rooms? Uh, the little Alpha just got a brand new engine rebuild. Funny story, the, the father's son took it apart two or three times, couldn't quite get it put together The Alpha right. down below? Yeah, we uh. got it together right for him. This is a normal car we'd get in, detail clean, change the fluids, you know, how many the car get? I'm sorry, how many did you get where it's, someone's working on it and it just goes haywire and they come to you to fix it? 80%. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, in 19, let me shut this for you. In 1941, Clark Gable bought a 1941 Cadillac Coupe, just like this. Mm -hmm. It's currently in the uh, Peterson Museum, but this will be, this is being built for Kat. This will be her new uh, house car. Your daily driver, daily the grocery driver. getter. Uh, I know. Uh huh. It's an eye catcher. Here at the upholstery shop, they'll do 15 um, hides of leather in it. A new Rolls Royce has 15 hides of leather in it. So the whole thing will be this color green leather in the whole car. You how see many what's people cool in here? How many Those people? Those are the, the heater cores back there. There's 36 people, and we could use another 10 really good techs. Okay, so yeah. I was watching right now. You guys are looking right. for techs. We need techs. Is that how it was back? That's that's original. Heater cores under your seat, so the hot air blows yeah. on you. Yeah, that's original. That's original. First year was 1940. We actually had to look that up the other day. Okay. Yeah, flathead. Now remember these, these engines and transmissions were used in Sherman tanks during the war, World War II. Pretty little car, come yeah, on. It's a gorgeous car. Where are we going now? Into a build room. <laughs> Into the build room. Whoa. So this is basically a body off, ground up restoration. They start at the frame and go up. Mm -hmm. So, so someone brings this here, you're, this is a client's car or your car? Yes, client's car. And they have a vision or you kind of talk to them through their vision? How do you come up with what you're doing on this right now? They sign a contract that says I want a fully restored car. I want these kind of wheel wood brakes on it, these wheels, and then it's executed by Tread and the service team. And uh, don't forget to, hopefully we'll get to introduce us to Tread here before it's over. You come in, uh, we take the car completely apart, rebuild it, put it back together. And about half of these come from other shops that were never finished at the other shop. Mm -hmm. Like this little, Chassis here? Yeah, what do we have here? Well, that's a chassis to a truck going to Japan. And um, it is sent at another shop languishing for five years. And now we're going to put it together. You guys get them done. We get them done. 
This car above will be a Tesla Model X. And up there, you see up on there. Come out here and say hello, Tread. Get over here, Tread. Wait, hold on a second. This is going to be putting a Tesla motor yeah, inside uh, this? Yeah, 12 years, uh, actually 16 years ago. I, I bought that car. Uh -huh. um, I also used to be your local Indian motorcycle dealer. Okay. Over on Boulder Highway uh, and Arlen Ness Custom Chopper Shop. But we stretched, we chopped, we peaked, and we channeled that car, and then all the underpinnings in inside will be a Model X four-wheel drive electric car soon. Whoa. Cool, huh? How do you come up with these ideas? Oh, just desperation. <laughs> you just pull them out of thin air? It sounds just like you, right? Right, yeah. There's nothing wrong with a little desperation. No, yeah. Yeah, come on. What's next? Uh, this is fabrication. This is Cartopia is what this is. I yeah, mean, it's a lot of cars. Every single room, there's something different yeah. inside here. Yeah, we're a funny company. We have no debt, so it's good for us. That's great. We can build anything we want. We have all the machines and all the talent, and we're always looking for more. Like I said, you can attend more techs if, if someone really wants to be part of the part. If you want to come down and work mm -hmm. wrench with us, you can do that too. You gotta show me how. Yeah, we just bought a, a, a 55 pan head, took it all apart. It needs a full restoration, but uh, the top motorcycle builder in the world is Sean Ruddy. It's proven, he's won all the shows. Mm -hmm. And you'll see in another room here in a minute what we do. He's building a car that will match a Harley with a sidecar. It'll be hot electric, that uh, real heavy metal flake mm -hmm. paint job and chrome to bits. And so when it rolls in, you know that real white, um, that real fur, like fur carpeting, real thick stuff? Uh -huh. It'll roll in, air ride, drop it to the ground. Have you heard that song, uh, My Money Don't Fold? No. My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle, It Folds? Oh, uh, no. They're gonna turn that up really loud <laughs> and that's gonna be on there. This car is gonna be great. The Silver Bullet. No, yes, but it's really called the Phantom. Okay. Isn't it cool? This is, yeah, Lance, look inside this. And it's right side drive. What are we doing with this? What's, what's the end? It's a hand, handmade complete car. Yeah. It has to be finished by the end of the year. You remember the TV show, right? Which one? It has to be finished. We're doing a seven year run TV show. They've been filming here for two months now. Oh my God. Yeah, but no one knows it except you now. You we got get the scoop. all kinds of exclusives, yeah. You got the scoop on it. Now this is the, uh, the bed that goes to the uh, truck going to Japan. And uh, what they've done, they've had to raise the floor up so it sits down lower. See what okay. I mean? Yeah. There's a Volkswagen you'll see like that in a bit. All right. All right, let's go to the next building. I'll follow you, Bill. What Here's do a, we have here? Well, there's another beautiful room. If you've uh, watched some of the newest shows, you'll find that um, Crank It Up Garage, you know that handsome man. Yeah. He came in here and uh, shot quite a bit of footage in here. Up here, this rocket, the husband and wife going on their first date. Uh huh. We built that to uh, commemorate the Rocket 8 uh, V8 engine that Oldsmobile used in the late 40s and early 50s. And over on your left, the little Piper Cub. All these things fly, and they all run. So Even the airplane up here, that, that you it, can fly that. You can fly it right now. You have now. your pilot's license. I well, I used to fly helicopters, not regular fixed-wing planes, though. I started with the little Robinson. Remember the R22s and the uh -huh. R44s? Yeah. Uh -huh. I had to stop because I couldn't afford jets. If you need to get across town fast, you can use this big supercharged crazy car here. I can see myself driving down the 215 on that, sure. Yeah, yeah. And then back then it was 29 cents a gallon. Yeah, look at this, Lance. Come look back this. here. This is a better deal. This must be regular. It's 20 cents a gallon, and that was 29 cents a gallon. Take me back. My That's gosh. That's a much better deal. That's how you buy gas. All right, where, where to next? All right, we're going to another room. Come on, Lance. We're going to another room. You made it so far in this video. What is the standout? You're watching right now. What car stands out to you? Drop it in the comments below. So over here is um, uh, where they steam clean and buff and shine, and that's the paint shop down there. And over here, I'll show you something really fun. All right. We're gonna go to the, we'll go to the far building. Over here. Yeah, do you like oil paintings? Sure, who doesn't like oil paintings? We have 1,113 oil paintings in that room. Let's look at all of them. Come on in. There's more than just paintings in here. Whoa. Wow. So 1,113 paintings. And you got Bentleys and Mercedes Benzes. Which was your favorite car? Uh, in this room? Yeah. All right, I, I want to fall back to the Mustang. Those are great. I yep. fall back to the Mustang. What's the Volkswagen over here? That's a, that was oh, it. Is, is, oh, that's yours? 21 years that's old, that's when I bought it. Is that a, what is that? It's a 58 bug convertible. On top, the white one. Up here. Wait, that's yours? Yeah, that's a Citroen. This was your very first car? Yeah, what I really wanted, yeah. You know, that actually, you, but I never got to drive it because it was in a million pieces. But actually I bought a, a car called a Jensen Interceptor. You know what that is? I have no idea. Yeah, it's a British car that has a big American V8 in it. They like to overheat. Well, what is this? That's a Citroen, 
2 CV. And that's one of the last ones, so it has big brakes, comparatively. And it will run 45 miles to 50 miles an hour all day long, which is pretty powerful for that. Do you remember? Chrys yeah, the Chrysler Baron. You remember this one? Absolutely. I, my buddies in high school, this was like, you know, the parents had their car. Uh -huh. And then this was the hand-me-down. But the Town & Country edition, this 500, was... 501 were ever made. Uh, of the Town & Country? 501. 501. The 501 of this car was ever made. Do you know what made this car famous? No. Well, do you remember, um, it was... Um, uh, the famous actor. Well, it's a TV show. Um, in the 80s? Yeah. Hey, what TV show was this in? But this was, like, all my buddies like, had was this car. Was it Friends? Not the Town and Country. No. Uh, no. Uh, Seinfeld. 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 You remember he got... Um, a, George Costanza? George Costanza got one like this. Yeah. And it was for... The actor... Uh, Vaughn? Oh. No. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, it was supposed to be his car. Yes. Remember Cop Fire Burnt Yes, 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 yes. That's great. We do tractors, and that's a 60, right? And if you think you've seen something here, what do you see what's next after all the pictures? Take a look at the walls. So it, there's, hopefully there's a piece of art that's good for somebody. Everybody will find something here they like. I mean, you have art on the floor. You have art Everything. hanging on the walls. Yeah. This, this is very artistic. Oh, yes, that's a famous guy that does that stuff. Can I take back my favorite? Yeah. I do like the Mustang, I like your Volkswagen, but I did something about the town and country. One of the most famous DJs, can I say his name? The DJ that bought one? Yeah, Who? He bought one of these? Yeah. Uh -huh. They're so difficult to get. And then Tread here has to spend six months making them perfect. Is, like, that, is that one for sale? Yeah. And they got another one back here? Yeah, yeah. And then this one is one of two ever made. See, it's a two-door instead of a four-door. Only two, of, two only San two, Remo's coupes ever only made two in the world. ever made? Yeah, ever. This car cost more than a Rolls-Royce when it was new. What year is it? That was probably a 70, 77. 77? Yeah. You like the Vogue wheels and tires? You like those yeah. tires? They look cool, oh, huh? Big time. Where do you keep all the keys? Uh, in a lockbox. There's a really famous car by a famous man. Even the cracked paint makes it famous. Do you remember Star Trek? Yes. Okay, so Gene Winfield made all the set props for Star Trek. Okay. And before you leave, I'll show you a picture of me sitting in Captain Kirk's chair. This is a Buick Riviera 63. And this was his car? This was a, a show it? car, right down to the lead cracking around. I'm not supposed to fix the paint, but I'm going to anyway. He yells at me all the time. It's still his car? No, no, we own everything. That's okay. All right, where to next? Come over here. Here's a, oh, you're going to love this room. Hey, you get a nice Bentley for under 50 grand, under 40 grand. You want to see something really cool? Yeah. Okay, this is really cool. This was built new for the president of Philip Morris. Look at the carpets. Feel the carpets. Ooh, put your hand down in there. Yeah. Ooh. I know, right? It bites. Got to be careful. It'll bite back at you. Wait, so the, the, he wanted a fur carpeting? No, I did that for my wife. I thought it was cool. It is cool. Yeah. It's different. She's had a lot of these. She's now, owned this car five times. Drove, when's the last time you drove this car? I don't know. Three months ago when I bought it back for the fifth time. How often, like, is every car registered or how do you, if you want to take a car or a out? a dealer. A, so you can just put plates on any car. Yeah, dealer plate. Come on. I'm going to show you some more stuff. Come on. It's the only place in the world that we know of that has three Cobra Jet race cars with zero miles. Zero miles? Zero miles. They've never been used. When did you get this? About three weeks ago. And there's, oh, wow. do you remember Get Smart? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You drove one of those in Alpine. That's fun. MGTDs. This one just sold and it's going to Germany. It's going to go to Bremerhaven, the port. So who, who bought this? How did you find this car? Uh, my, smart, uh, my smart wife, she advertises all over the world. So they found it. It's a prototype. If you look right here, it says, Prototype. Mm -hmm. They built 15 of them, uh, and it's the first one, the prototype of 15 ever made. So this is number it, one. Yeah, it'll go to a museum. A lot of the cars here do go to museums. Yeah, well, we're in a museum right now. A little bit of everything. We're just happy you're here. This is totally cool. That's a real uh, 427, uh, 435 horse car. So you got a 69, 71, 69. Is there, is there a theme to the Corvettes here? Or no, they just have to awesome be Corvettes. Corvettes. Yeah. yeah. This is my favorite. You remember Corvette the, Summer? I loved it. Who? Corvette Summer, the movie. Uh-huh. 
right? So that's the type of car they would have had back then. You know, a gold chain and a mustache? Yeah. See the fender flares? Yeah. Look at the crazy paint. Yeah. So it's a 69 with 70 gills put in it. Big block, numbers matching, 427 car. They booked, this one's supposed to book for what, 90 something? It's only 49. Remember, we finance 100%. Okay. On approved credit. This car is interesting. We got this from a local museum. It really does have about 18,000 original miles, but the men in the shop took the drive line out and put a, a 435 horsepower LS3 drive line in it with a six speed automatic. 73 olds in a museum here in Las Vegas. Uh -huh. What made this museum worthy car? Uh, Just because 18,000 miles and the seat swivel and it's, you've never seen one before. The seat that nice? swivel? Push down, kitty. Right, there you go. So the seat swivel, so that you get in, then you swivel. Easy to get in and out. And then shut the door and you come back when you're ready to go. Really nice. Why didn't this catch on? Oh, I'm sure that they weren't safe in a crash. Well, good point. <laughs> yeah, good point. With the door like that? Yeah, With the seat like that? Right like that. Exactly how it's supposed to be. That's neat. So do you remember the movie where at the end of it he gets on a missile and rides it into Russia, into a nuclear power plant? No. Where they make bombs and all that kind of stuff? Why do I know? Dr. Strange Yeah, Love. okay, yes, yes, yes. We made Dr. Strange Love's rocket. <laughs> this Camaro is gorgeous. Did you guys paint this? No, but we did the drive line. And yeah. you can come back and take it for a test drive. I love this. This one's, yeah, this one's stunning. Make sure it's pointed in the right direction. Want to show them under the hood? Your team did it, Tread. Open the hood. Is this 5,000 original miles on this? No, since it was done. Okay. Yep. Wow. See, all the cars are pretty. That way no one's ever mad at us. Yeah, just the color of this yeah. just... I'm sure yeah. it even pops when you get out in the sun. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. It's nuts. You'll like driving it, too. I will. Yeah. Whoa, motorcycles. Is there a standout one to you in this room? I mean, to me, they're, they're all That standouts. one's in the Motorcycle Hall of Fame. Which one? It won the Sturgis, and it won... The motorcycle AMA, AMA the, red yeah, one. the red one. That's over 300 horsepower, completely handmade. It looks like a Victory Vision, it is not. Um, this one stands out to me over here because Arlen was my friend mm -hmm. and I worked with him for a number of years. This is Arlen. Okay. He died of the cancer, the cancer got him. He was a oh. nice man, he shouldn't have died that way. But this was his catalog bike. I found it and I bought it back. I sold it new. It still has the original purchase order when I filled it out. How often are you looking for cars and motorcycles? You 24 just, hours a day, online, seven days a week, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's a real Arlen Ness motorcycle. A real one, they used to make them. Over here, the sidecar rigs. Mm -hmm. No one has this many anywhere on the planet. And this is just some of them. You can hop in one if you want, or take one for a ride. This is a DMC sidecar in full leather. They don't come that way, but we put them. See, there's a door people hop in. Yeah. May I? Yeah, hop in. All right. So you. As far as a sidecar, you don't have to have seat belts, nothing. Just like sitting no. on a motorcycle. You sit here and hang on for dear life. So the old sidecars, sometimes if you're on a crowned road, might give you a bit of a fit. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to turn a little into it. This one, if it's a crowned road, all you have to do, let me turn this down for you, uh, is just push this button and it fits the, cr the crown on the yeah. road so the bike goes straight. When you're riding along, okay. if it feels funny, just flip the button up and down until it goes straight so you can raise and lower the sidecar yeah. so it goes straight down the crown road. They didn't have that technology a long time ago. This is nice. Yeah, and we can put a like, sidecar on almost anything. Mm -hmm. My little door to get out. Yeah, you're fine. Be happy you're still super physically fit and happy to go. That seat going to the gym pays off, doesn't it? It does. If does you ever it? want to start an ice cream business, we can help you out there. You're ready to go with a good humor truck? Yeah, and the Wizards. See the Wizards around the top? Uh-huh. What's a Wizard? A Wizard is a motorcycle bicycle from the 50s. Like this one up here. Check this out. This one over here. Up this here? still has the paper boy bar on it. See the bar over the yeah. tank? That's where he'd throw his bag and he'd be slinging it. He was like a super duper paper boy because they were expensive. And then you remember Pee Wee Herman? Yeah. I did that one for Cat, but I made it look like Pee Wee Herman's yeah, bike. Yeah, right up here, the red one. Yeah, up, and then I left, gave it. Up, uh, up, Lance. Yeah, and yeah. I gave it luggage. Now oh it's my super gosh, fast. yeah. See it? Now, oh, you can go cross country in that. Guaranteed 45 miles an hour. Was Pee Wee's motorized in the, in the movie? No, he didn't have that kind of pocket. <laughs> 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 that looks good, though. That looks good. This yeah, is, he wouldn't have thought that out. This has been an amazing afternoon. And some of those, you see the. Um, 
oh gosh, all the awards up there. Yeah. Those are just some of the awards, the top awards that Sean Ruddy has won over the years. Do you remember the movie Mad Max? Yes. Okay, in the movie Mad Max, there was a guy named Goose. Uh -huh. Now, Goose was cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're going to be a, a guy that goes to the bad guy, you want to be the cop. Goose. Yeah. Remember, he died. But he had this crazy bike, KZ1000, uh -huh. called the Goose Bike. And we're building 40 of them. And this was it? This is one of the them. replica? Yeah. It's nicer than a movie bike. It looks the same. But we build the engines better. We polish between the fins. We chrome everything. We polish the wheels. Here's a goose bike. And off to your right is another goose bike. And we believe in choppers. We always have lots of choppers and customs and pro streets in the shop. They never stop because we like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, many of them we sold new. From the old store over on uh, Boulder Highway, from the old Ireland Nest store, okay. we sold that brand new. Then we got it back, that American Iron Horse. <laughs> This, believe it or not, this Titan. Titan used to be um, the distribution center for Titan. Mm -hmm. Was the front building, the first showroom you went into. Yeah. This year. And that um, was your shop back in the day? No, it was Titan's. I flew out, I had Redwood City Indian mm -hmm. motorcycle and dealerships there too, but I flew out and signed up to be a Titan dealer in 97 at that building. And I did not know when I was getting the property, mm -hmm. right, that I, something seemed familiar but if you're out front, there's these concrete pads where they used to put bikes. I had no idea what it yeah. was. And then all of a sudden, boom. I'd been here before, only it was 1997. Oh my gosh, Bill, this has been. You remember Fat been, Beer? This is those bikes they used to give away? Yeah. So don't be a stranger. We We're here all the time. I mean, so, e each, each room you could spend, you know, four or five hours yeah. just looking at every single vehicle. This is the bird's eye view of your remember collection. Remember the pedal cars that were airplanes up there? Yeah. We have a whole squadron. And I'm always trying to get them. So if you got one for sale, let me know and I'll buy it and put it up on the wall. So we'll have a whole squadron going. It's Bill, pretty awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. Come back and drive that car sometime. Uh, absolutely. You just tell me, you, uh, we'll warm it up. We'll just take it out and drive the wheels off of it. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. That's cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections. Yeah, yeah, yeah.